thought you guys might get a kick out of this. Hold on. There's like filler on top of primer, on top of old filler, sometimes on top of old paint. Uh, I don't know what, what this is here. Uh, that's pretty thick. I, I have no idea what it is. At this point, if they put cardboard in there, I wouldn't be surprised. But it's just, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And as far as I could tell, <clears throat> um, they were trying to get this quarter straight. I'm assuming right now because this lower quarter, I was told, is new, which kind of actually scared me when I got it because I thought, mm, okay, new. Um, but either they warped the shit out of this or I'm thinking since it goes up that far that it might have been hit at some point. But it looks salvageable. It's just, you know, somebody uh, really, really got their uh, sculpting. They honed their sculpting skills here. Uh, all right, moving on. All right, I took the car. I took the car apart. Got the deck lid off and the door is off. And this car is basically stripped, so the body's ready to come off the chassis. Uh, there's some stuff in the trunk. I took all the parts, or most of the parts, down to the basement uh, so they don't get damaged out here. Uh, but uh, I'm ready to go as far as getting the body. Excuse me, the body off. I'm finding some surprises. I started stripping the quarter, as you saw. <clears throat> um, the inner wheel wells, they're rusted on the edges. Um, not terrible, but probably, uh, they're probably rusted back maybe an inch or so. Uh, my thoughts are is I'll just get some metal and replace it because I'm not going to find any body parts for this. And if I do, they're going to be way too expensive. You know, people aren't giving it away so and they shouldn't have to but so I got some metal working tools here I got the shear uh, which is a uh, Harbor Freight deal and I got this roller here which is heavy very very heavy and I got two of these smaller bead rollers this is a uh, Pex, uh, Pexto the other one is a Niagara, and they have small tooling on here, just to give you a, um, it's not deep. I would imagine it's just for putting a lip on the edge of something, maybe. I kind of wish I would have found a deeper, you know, bead roller, but all of this stuff, th this bead roller, the other one, which is exactly the same size as this, but it's a Niagara, which, from what I understand, are pretty good. Uh, that Chinese shear and that roller, which I have no idea what that would cost um everything was 165 dollars so the lady was uh, selling a bunch of stuff and the guy there was a guy that got there before me and he got this uh he got a bead roller and he took all of the the fucking tooling with him so uh, there was tooling that was probably for this and for this other one but the guy grabbed up one of them and took all the tooling with him of course the lady didn't know it's not her fault you know she's uh just selling selling stuff for a deceased you know family member but um or uh neighbor or whatever they were but it was it was i pissed me off but still i did good so i'm uh waiting for this to figure out what i should do with with the rest of this car i've been using these i use these on the model a and this one's worn down to nothing but it's these these 3m the bristle um, bristle discs they're not cheap but they they really strip it very well however if you have a an edge or something that you're going across it'll it'll take it'll fuck them bristles up it'll it'll take it right off so you really just use it for flat surfaces like I'll just use it for the side here even if I get up on that edge it'll start messing those bristles up so if I can get these big open areas, the roof and this and that, then uh, I'll be good. And then the rest I'll 
Um, another thing I had thought of that was suggested to me by a couple people was getting the buffer and getting like an 8 inch pad with like 40 grit or whatever and going over it just so it's not super you know if I put it on the angle grinder obviously that'd be too much but uh, just go over it like that uh, which is another option um, I've pretty much thrown out sandblasting well we have a sandblaster I could do the uh, nooks and crannies but as far as getting it media blasted somewhere or getting the body dipped which I could take it up to Indianapolis or over to Cincinnati and get it dipped uh, that's like a thousand dollars and I know it'll be good you know it'll just take care of it all at once but that's money that I could spend on numerous other parts that I need for this uh, the little things I need to do uh, these tail lights here you can see the holes that's for a 57 now the 58 only had the uh, the small circle at the bottom rather than having this so I'm converting everything over to a 58 if I'm gonna try and make it kind of look like Christine so I need to fill I'm gonna I don't have to but I'm going to fill in those holes and then um, put uh, a, a you know bigger circle uh, maybe get a hole saw or something and cut out. I've got to measure or get a measurement on what um, the correct circle size would be. And then, um, but I'm that kind of stuff I'm not worried about. Right now I'm just worried about stripping it and getting all this rust figured out. The floors have some patches in there that, you know, it looks like, uh, I don't know. I don't know who did it, but, you know, not that I'm the best body man in the world, but sometimes you look at people's work and say, come on. And then that, here's the rear end. I'm thinking that they were putting a fuel cell in it, something like that. They were doing something weird with it, but uh, no more. So I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing with the body as far as what to put it on. Uh, I had a rotisserie lined up. I think that's fell, fallen through. I don't want to buy one because they're too expensive. Uh, the next step would might be making one. I've got a couple engine stands and I might make one. We'll see, but that's where we are. So TV's keeping me busy. I got my couch over here to sit and watch TV. So, you know, I'm using my time well. All right, guys, thanks for watching.